dire team pick. Welcome back, everybody, to the MDL, the Mars TV Winter Dota League. We are at the land final now in the group stage action, and we're getting ready to hop into heat number four. It's Mineski versus Secret. We're here. I'm joined by Barker. So we bring you the English cast here on Azubu. Anyways, I like your new haircut. Thank you. I like your new haircut. Yeah, no, yeah. Great. So, Mineski, I'll be honest with you. Haven't really watched a lick of what Mineski have been up to in Frankfurt. Is there anything I should know going into this? Um, are they the same team? <laughs> Husker got removed, and that kind of like removed Mes Mineski from the so game. So six and six <laughs> and Mineski are not really meshing so well. As not we not so good right now. They're 0 and 4 at uh, MDL so far. They've lost all their games, including a loss to Complexity, which is kind of noteworthy because that's like the e the easiest game for them because the other teams in their group is Team Secret. Team LGD and Team Ehome. Ehome, yeah. So if you're losing to Complexity, you're in a lot of trouble. But yeah. Secret themselves, they've, they've drawn all three of their matches. I don't think Secret's been playing very well lately. Yeah, and because Complexity got 2 0 win, they're at, suddenly at the top of the group, or they were. So, anyways, we do have a draft. Okay. Let's get into it. So I know the producer back there is waiting for me to say those words so you could do something like this. Seems good. So I know. And as I was alluding to when we were talking about Minisk at the start, it felt like that would have been the general impression for most people is Huskar's not a thing anymore. What the hell are Mineski to do? So I'm very excited to see if what they're going to do without Huskar, and let alone if their type of play style, which we know to be pretty damn ruthless, even works well with mm. this meta. Because I'm looking at a meta where you're seeing lone druids and chens and a lot of meticulous scientific technology heroes here not saying that many are don't have that capability but it just they're like i want my boxing gloves and i want to hit the bag yeah they're gonna fight i mean not still can fit that role like oh sure they're gonna take they they, will, they should take a page from ehome's book get these fighting heroes and five man push <laughs> try and play this style where you just get up in your opponent's face so i don't think they're gonna adopt like what we saw, like a more alliance type playstyle from Starlight, where it's like, ah, we'll, we'll get our farm and then we'll push later. They're going to want to just go right right at Team Secret. Earlier today, uh, in the first game of Secret vs. Ehome, we got to see the Weeha mid lane Earth Spirit. Only bringing oh, it up yeah. because Earth Spirit has been ignored up to this point. And in that same game, Secret still ran on Druid on Misery in the offlane, so still plausible at this point. We're also going to see the infamous Puppy Chen. But Mineski pulling out the Zeus now. Coming into this, I was watching a lot of China qualifiers. Those guys love Zeus, but they love the support Zeus still. So I've been really excited to see the, like, what I felt was more Western traditional mid lane core Zeus against the Chinese support Zeus. And I wager Minsky are mid lane Zeus players. I have no idea where the tell. hell this is going. <laughs> this could end up into like a crazy global strat for all I know. Darkness and Zeus ulties and then, I don't know, like Nature's Prof, Spectre, mm -hmm. AA. I once fancied myself a uh, kind of aficionado on SEA slash China Dota, and, and no longer okay. uh, SEA Dota, no longer China Dota, no longer even 6.86 Dota. I don't, Not even I don't Dota. Know right I think you're tennis now. Yeah. You don't even <laughs> Dota anymore. You're a tennis aficionado. I don't even uh, know how that works. Yeah, you know, I was doing the observing for the last series. My this, there's the two PCs, the one on the right, with like basically a second monitor. I just set the tennis up, watching the Australian <laughs> Open. It was, it was some good fun. It's kind of hard. It's actually really hard to watch multiple things at once when you're observing because you can't look away even for seconds. No, like it's I it actually it. requires a hundred percent focus. Unlike casting, you know, you could cast do you think it's harder to now. do the obs thing like so, that when you know that like it's all you gotta do, or do you think it's easier when you're casting and obsing and maybe it's like second nature? It's definitely easier for me to obs when I'm not casting. Yeah. I feel like from uh, from my point of view, like I I feel like I have to focus so much on oh, it's, yeah. obsing that I I can't think about what I'm trying to say. Hey, you want to ride a unicycle and juggle at the same yeah. time? Yeah, there's some people out there that can do it, but it's overall pretty Very hard. You know? <laughs> I know some like some of the play by play casters like Toby LD. They they, they like doing their own camera. Yes, yeah. they kind yeah. of adds to the flow of the game for their casting. For me, it's I mean, I'm not. It's not, not really my style, I guess. Not everyone could be a, a world-class Wepos and yeah. Scriff and then some pimp guy. Yeah, but he's all right. He's, yeah. So, would you know it? Earth Spirit, hey. third pick. Oh, great. Up until MDL, 
Like, I remember when the first time Seeker picked up Earth Spirit, I was instantly getting because I was, it was going to be the Weehaw Earth Spirit because he fiended Earth Spirit with me back in the day. Like, maybe even before Balkan Bears, maybe around that time. But they gave it to Pi and they did it the traditional, or what became the traditional four position support. So I am curious if it's going to be core or not, if Mineski even had the opportunity to scout Secrets last series or not. How they want to deal with it. Yeah. It's all about you go all in, you take advantage of that early window of Earth Spirit, and then you just hope you can hand it off to a late game NV hero. So I, mean, I like the way Seeker, though, can be flexible. Yes, they haven't got Pies here yet, but I feel oh. Earth Spirit as a support with Chen, like, it, you, you don't really have a good. No. You have no good support for Spectre. Like, how Spectre farming yeah. in lane when you've got Earth Spirit and Chen? So this You're almost. Right. This needs to be an Earth Spirit mid, I, I, I think. Yeah, the only team to run it, Earth Spirit mid. So yeah, and it's Vector again. This it's is the like, same draft, yeah. Load Druid again. It's it's everything the same. Did they have that game? They did not have. They Chet, had though. They Puppy had... on. What did they have Puppy on? I totally forgot actually. No, Naga was game two. I don't know. Are you sure it wasn't? Ten? I don't know. I'm, I'm got to be pretty sure it was together. Sure. I I'm I'm not thinking of it. But so okay. Uh, how do you stop the Earth Spirit mid lane? Hey, you, you just you think, treat it like it. You, know, that you send a hero mid that's going to win the lane. Yeah. Like they had Which 30 they CS on OD, was yeah. it? Yeah. Against like Earth Spirit with seven CS, I was just like, okay, this is going great. Earth Spirit mid is not not a thing. And then, he but then he got level later. six. Yeah. yeah, and he took that business bottom. The same thing has to happen. Like if you're not doing something with that level six, then you're you're not going to be relevant anymore. So, I'm, I'm curious to see what. Mineski are going to be doing about it. their last grab here. Another game where we're going to get to see a, a Slark played. So a lot of nighttime synergy here. Not only is the color scheme working fabulously here for Mineski, on top of the darkness you get the extra vision from your Sardars and your Slarks. And it's a great theme overall here coming yeah. up for Mineski. I do applaud it. But their vision game is just insane. And then yeah. the one here that can benefit from that, Disrupt! Disruptor, you glimpse him back, you catch him, you pick them off. It's like mm. the perfect support to have when you've got this huge vision advantage. He's very good against Earth Spirit, I'll tell you what. You roll away and next thing you're back. And yeah. you're in, inside a stack storm, so you're not doing anything. It, it totally sucks. So I think the only counter that's like the worst thing to go against as an Earth Spirit is a Silencer. And I remember in the last time Secret pulled out the Earth Spirit, they actually banned the Silencer. I actually don't remember if they banned it here or not, but... That could be something that would definitely shut down the air spirit very hard. I was going to ask what Minesky were going to do, and it looks like they just kind of fight a bit. Like, kind of similar to what we saw Ehome do with the Slack, probably a bit less farming. Want to fight a bit? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, ben was pretty damn hard let's, on let's the Let's hope guy. it's not fa a fa fa yeah. Slack, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I imagine you've got to do two isn't like a great catching hero to Slack. My... We got to see Kaka, now we got Cuckoo. This yeah. is great. <laughs> Kaka Kuk here. His Southeast Asian brother. Here we go, folks. Game number one of this two-game series here. We're at phase four. Very important match, especially for Mineski, who are really down right now. They need to get a win. And Secret, who have been drawing their series up to their point. This is their third series now, and you do not want to be in a position where you've already played three full series, and you only somehow have three points. Yeah. And you're definitely not going to be in the top. So... This should be a 2-0, you know, I'm sure most people anticipate a 2-0 here. Look at this, Mineski already, five-man smoke, secret say. I'm going to pause and 20 seconds. stream snipe this real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's 20 seconds is what it takes. So that's, like, that's like the delay on the stream right I now. I don't even see an opportunity there, which is interesting because I, I can understand maybe where Mineski are coming from. Maybe you anticipate Secret might be at the wood, and you have a Chen, so... Yeah, I don't know. Just try and shut down some of Chen's jungle, but it's yeah. gotten so hard to do that with the new big camp up top. I think last time he played the Chen, he even... That was his first creep grab, was from that camp by the, the Secret Shop. Uh, thank you, Frog. Mm -hmm. Ready you? Jigo? Oh, well, I wasn't lying about 20 seconds. Eternal Envy, a man of his word. He's a fast peer, that's sure. Here comes Mineski now. They're doing their trailblaze and five-man smoke. Hoping to find someone here, but they're not. The Wee Frog. Uh -huh. I didn't notice he had Frog in the back part of the name. He knew he was going to be playing Earth Spirit here. Yeah, he's ready to play all the, the Earth Frog heroes. 
throw in some OD. What other? What are the other ones right now? Invoke. Eh, Invoke's not really. He's always yeah. been a hero. Death Prov is falling. Oh off yeah. Oh the. Oh well, the, the soul. The soul siphon. Like you see soul still... siphon. Like on three heroes at once. You're bad. The soul siphon. The I imagine frog. is like the tongue of ice frog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that early ward. Ooh. Very deep for this. Ooh, yeah. So, that's... Intel for Chen to see where he's coming from. What the hell he's up to. But as you said, more options have opened up for Chen. Have we seen a big impact at all with the nerf they did give back to Chen saying you're no longer going to get the uh, reduced cooldown? Uh, I don't know the stats on Chen this tournament, but I mean, he was like the best hero before the, the nerf as far as like win rate based on like the teams playing him. Yeah, we didn't even see him like once in the China qualifier. I think a lot of the teams just don't have Chen players is probably part of it. I could have... I thought Chuan played some Chen, yeah. right? Oh, he he used to be like one of the big kind of jungle players, but yeah. he hasn't been for a while now. He's all Rubik He's, now. So yeah, we've been seeing a lot of from him. He's been playing like more kind of greedy farming supports a lot of the time. All right, so this is looking like pretty much a carbon copy game plan for Secret from what we're on game number one against Ehome. We have may drop this lane as far as CS and farm goes, but he's in it for the free and easy XP. I mean, nowadays it's actually even easier to roll with the core or spirit to the mid lane than it is off lane with all these new shenanigans and stuff that, that have been happening to off laners. Yeah. And this will be a much easier mid for him than the OD game. Oh, he won't for sure. get completely demolished. He, he might even have fun. kill opportunity here. This Zeus oversteps his boundaries once he gets, let's say, one of each skill. You're going to roll forward. It automatically puts you on the exact opposite side of your opponent for an easy kickback under the tower. Yeah. And this guy's pulled it off many times. Let me tell I'm, you what. You haven't... I doubt any of these mid-plays being versing Earth Spirit mid. Oh, no. In quite some time. It was something... It was Seth who told me, because he's like, oh, we, we, we was telling me at Starlight that he's going to be playing a, a new meteor uh, during this event. I wonder if he was talking about Earth Spirit. Probably that was. Is, I, I, at this point, no one was expecting Earth Spirit to be played mid in. Here we go. It's I'm happy to see him playing him. He's in the upper, like him, Jarex, they're the he's, best in the game right now. Look at this shockwave action CS. coming out. And why, why do you stop for that? He's dead to another shockwave, I think. 125 uh, Boom! Oh. Puppy picks up your first one. That CS, I think, just got him killed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it was... Uh, next rolling boulder he may have been caught, but... You don't go for that CS. Love to see the stat out there on how many times Puppy's got first blood with Chen, man. I'm sure we've been seeing that all through Dota history. Big grab for him once more. We'll take down the Zeus and what should be a lane where Earth Spirit is probably not going to get the upper hand. Now he's got a kill on side. He's got to have the XP on side. He goes with the double level into Q, so he's going more hefty in the damage department, it looks like. But that all don't matter for now. And, uh, well, got that illusion. Pull up out casual harassment, and Jesse Vash is going to be able to leech some sweet XP. They've rolled with uh, this dual lane now. We're still waiting for this nightfall. How crucial is it, do you think, this night soccer goes out and meets your traditional night soccer quota of, you know, slaying some body here? It's not hugely important. Like, most of his core heroes from the first nighttime phase aren't going to be looking to fight. Slada's not really that ready. Slark's farming in the early game. Zeus, same thing. So, it the game plan won't change drastically suddenly because it's nighttime. It's kind of like now, he's coming into the enemy jungle, he's just trying to get skank vision, and it's going to be the same. He'll do the same thing at nighttime, just he'll be better at it. So I don't think there's a huge amount of pressure on Seavash come first nighttime. Second nighttime, it gets a lot more important for them now. We have, as we see, 15 and 3 CS. This is so much better than the last time he played it in the mid lane. This is this is yeah. going to be scary. With the first blood experience, like that's a very fast level. Zeus is what like a short kill as an Earth Spirit. Do you? Uh, yeah. Do you that's a, there's no stopping. Look, bolt me all you want. He's yeah. going to take a lot of bursty damage. But you got the silence, so <laughs> you're just what to TP out, I guess, if he's already used his, his boulder smash. Just depends how much he can read the situation and be efficient. I mean, if you just simply Roll in with the silence, drop the magnetize, let's say. You probably might not even need the yeah. stun. You can, yeah, you can save it for the TP out. Yep. So, we'll see. It's going to be scary. He'll get it in good time. And Puppy's here. In spirit, at least with the mighty satyr as he continues to harass it about. Wee Frog here as the first nightfall comes out. Grab up the rune bottom lane to keep a sharp eye on where this Night Stalker is going to run about. Looks like for now, hanging in the top or the bottom lane. We haven't really Whoa. paid too much attention to the uh, top lane here. That's it. Jesse Vash wants to pay attention to it. He's got a haste. Aggressive use of yeah. that haste rune. Get over here. He's moving in. He's not getting the root. 
Mr. He wants stupid. it bad. Oh. And he sees a TP. He's like, I gotta get the hell out of here. Ooh. I love the kick, but it is a miss. That's always gonna be one which should get dodged there. So nice, nicely played by Jay to get away from it. That's a Mineski like play right there. I like that. It's very thirsty. Yeah, well, he ran right past the ward, unfortunately for him. Otherwise, Lundrod may have stayed somewhat aggressive, but mm -hmm. looking to get active on the map. Didn't lose out too much. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, he's gonna lose out yeah. a bit. Oh, we got the pull right now. He can uh, uh, definitely get oh, it. Even easy. holds on. And gets little six already, five minutes in. Oh, Who's yeah. gonna be the first victim? Only really needs one more stun. And everyone's dead for Xiao. Zeus so kinda come back to mid. This is where, if, like, Mineski have got fighting heroes, but it's also a little on the greedy side because they can finally kill bottom. But, like, Zeus needs to keep on farming. Slark needs to farm throughout the early game. They've got a mid and a safe initiative. Neither of them really creates much space for the team. That's just class high, you know, it's the early game. He's got a hand one over at some point. Damn, shockwave again, man. Mineski just really not feeling yeah. the save right now. Oh, Zeus actually went back mid. That's, that's going to be <laughs> ballsy call from him. Uh, he's doesn't really have the mana, but he has the wand, so he yeah. can just pop his wand and do work right now. He could kill him. If Zeus is ever away from the tier one, dead for sure. Yeah. Trez, he's, he's thinking, oh, goodness, who can TP it? I mean, he did this last time. He, he went for yeah. a very tanky build with Treads, Wand, the Veil. Yeah, this was like tab. old build. Like this was like what you'd rolled with in the off lane, you know, as well a bit. No one was really doing the arcane thing. You were just like, I'd rather hit faster, hit a bit harder, and take advantage of more of the high strength game that he has, and just be yeah. a real big tonk. Especially when you're no one else in the game might have a thousand life. Why not? Okay, bottom lane. Really void slow. Oh, TP they, from they already forced out. Envy from the lane, and hello, two-man stun, two-man silent, rolling boulder in, double magnetized, leading to a double kill, I'm sure. Hello, how you going? Yeah. Mightier Spirit's here. Refreshes it, dead for sure, but he wants to secure it. He drops an extra stone, just be safe. And he even gets the XP leech oh. off of it. That, like, played into his hand so well. Because Mineski were playing around, like, waiting for him to go in the Zeus. Disruptor was there, they were trying to make sure they secure the rune. They're like, okay, we know what you're doing, We, You're looking to kill our Zeus, we'll make sure it doesn't happen, and... That opportunity at bottom lane is just like the perfect excuse for him just to leave mid where he's not killing Zeus. Yep. And uh, this means he'll be able to burst. He might even just go the veil again. Now, that means you're really snowballing, yep. so we'll have to see. I mean, at that point, you can't add a, a disruptor Zeus that are not even going to be able to hold a candle to him. So the Slark needs to make chase. Night Stalker not really getting a lot done in that first night. And we know Slardar is eventually going to have to probably be the lone initiator for this team. I don't, you know, foresee until the Slark gets a, like a Shadow Blade, let's say, or Disruptor setting something up. It's going to be a while here for Mineski to be able to go more on the assertive. A lot resting on the, the Slardar blink and what he can yeah. do with it. He's not necessarily going to get it at an amazing He's got time. Magnetized in three. And uh, anyone who shows bottom is in trouble. Yeah. And they want to keep killing, they realize Slada's maybe getting a bit more than you'd have right out of the off lane, so you kill him, you slow down that blink, which is just so important. Oh, oh. They have Haunt, they won't need it. But hell, I don't even think you need the Magnetize for that one, but they get that and the Shockwave. He's just so good. He, he's not never going to miss that combo. It hits the stun, that is. Yeah. You can you can dodge the stun, but if you get hit by the stun, the combo's going to land. Up and down, Pi goes for the pull, but look at this, Raging Potato. Oh, here comes our spirit. Uh, and they got the wand pop. Another stone flying out from the dark, and that means trouble's here. He's going to look to cut him off. Jesse Vash looks to go the other way. He wants Pi, but does not want to bother going to the trees. And here comes Wee. He might play with his food, even. Oh, he has the... the Zeus. That was a solo kill, too. Kick. Got it. Pull. Oh. Spec got the Zeus. I was like, I was, I was like, wait, Spec to use Hulk didn't come in for the Nightstalker kill because he found a better kill. Oh, man. This is probably going to be a swift game number one. I'm telling you right. Yeah. This is... Suddenly, your Slardo is not getting a blink anytime soon. Your, your Slark's still free farming, but everything else is falling apart. Give it the crush. Pi is showing off. He's, he's level, level six, six now. Already. Yeah, he's yep. got that mid lane solo farm while Puppies. we is like going on the move. We is like moving around now. I mean, practically his mech already. Just, yeah. It's another like 600 gold, 600 gold. Everything going going right for Team Secret. The Hand of God just got used there, I think, helping out with that, that the, fight. And, oh, by the way, there's a Misery farming long Jura, 27 cents. Yeah, that's the thing. Even with that first game, it's like, oh, we've created so much space for to hand it off to Envy in the late game as a Spectre because Spectre's the best late gamer ever. And, oh, by the way, they have a lone Druid too. Yeah. How's that?
And uh, this low druid nice double kill. Don't crush. He doesn't even get off the. He just doesn't get the ulti off. We get they the kill, and he's like, perfectly. "Thanks for sending me back to mid." Oh, that lift into two hero crush into the earth spirit stun. That was just brutal. Okay, so now now in the socks not doing well. Like, oh I think you have the top farmer. <laughs> triple Seder. <laughs> you didn't like the shockwave before. Get ready for the triple. Hmm. It's the powerball strat. Boom. And he has a tomato creep in there. Got to have your veggies. Pu puppy have a good time in this game. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a... Uh, Mineski probably feeling a little morally broken at this point. Yeah. And if it's hard when you've just lost four games in a row, and you're just going to go right... The entire group stage is played today, so... The team that's getting knocked out are likely to be teams that just have... Like, you get off to bad start, and you just snowballs out of control. I think Team Spirit in the other group... I'm not sure if they're guaranteed knocked out. There was some some issue where I think they lost game one to Vici in game two. They were maybe going to forfeit because it didn't matter. So they may already be knocked out from group Really? A. Man. Could be a, a quick exit for them and similar straight from Ineski if they can't turn things around. Well, that's a, that's a minus right there. Picked up for Mr. Misery. So only f flaunting off more of the farm that Secret have obtained. The shockwaves don't stop here in the bottom lane. A rotation in. Minsky may be looking to kind of move up a fight. We have yet to see Zeus take advantage of the T-Gods yet, but there really has not been an opportunity presented. I mean, who's going to lead off the party, you know? Get these shockwaves out of here, man. He's just clearing out the whole wave. It's never going to relieve the pressure from the... Oh, hey, no. Centaur now. He's lost two of his shockwave buddies. Uh, he, well, I like how he's like, use your last spell and I'll end your life. I guess the fun does stop in the bottom lane. But he's not having any fun. He's blink halfway there, but mm -hmm. that second half is going to be the struggle for him. Yeah, but it's like, oh, I'm going to blink crush, and then oh, they're going to mech. Him. And that's a dead Zeus. Yep. Oh, and he gets the follow up magnetize. They're going to go for both. Yep. And that's an urn, that's a remagnetize. He's dead too. Kick it. Style. He shoots oh, his scores. EOTK. Bit Picking up easy. that one. Killing speed. And oh, hey, disrupt. Do you have mid? Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll get you as well. Now, this is where it sucks to not have a lot of mana on our spirit. Oh, but he still oh, has a yeah. Not on disruptor, at least. And he has the wand? Oh, he's good. Wand. Send back. And oh, more tower Perfectly. damage? Well, slightly off of the disruptor. Could have maybe hit a perk glimpse timing there, but. Unfortunately, not the case. And oh, by the way, they get—they do end up getting disruptor. Thirteen to one. This is a secret stomp. Make it envy, though. Okay. Make it envy. Yeah. He can't TP out. Wee. He buys out though. He's got his Yasha already complete. He's fine. Misery says thanks for drawing <laughs> away. I'll just farm thanks. it up here. And then, and then when the camera pans to Misery, it's just like, oh, and they have a lone druid who is not even involved in anything ever. That's where you're just thinking space created. Anytime Misery, someone does secret dies, space created, guys. We have a lone druid. He's like, this is the best role in, in hero yeah. I've ever gotten. I don't have to worry about anything. Just play in the lane. Dude, that, that's at the Admiral Bulldog role. Your team just plays 4v5 for the early game, and then suddenly you come out with a Midas Radiance 20 minutes in, and the game's, the game's in the bag. Now we have a mech on the chat. So you got Hand of God and mech. Any sort of, even if this slaughter gets a blink dagger, he'll blink crush, salty, and all of a sudden, secrets like ult one, ult two, or heal one, heal two, and we're ready to fight. Yep. I haven't taken any towers yet, but for secret, that's just a big deal. Like, they go great right into the late game. Uh, this spirit specter duo just finds pickoffs anything they have holding up. And that's something which reminds me a lot of what Alliance did, the Batrider plus specter, just using the ultis to find pickups. Like, when you find a lasso, then you haunt oh, in. Heartbreaking. Jesse Beth trying to get in there. Oh, Try to get the silence rooted. off, but the shapeshift was there. He gets caught up, rooted down. Envy sweeps in as oh. Slardar interjects. He could be in trouble. Weeha's made his move. He got a hold of a pesky little Jules Disruptor. And just put him into bed. And Mineski can't really say, okay, we're losing badly, let's just sit back and farm, because they're not going for, like, a, a mice build slack or anything. No. They got, their lineup's meant to be strong here. 15 minutes until we fight, it's night time. This is the night time where they're going to start, not necessarily dominating, but doing well. Taking fights and having having a blink dagger on Slatter, who is ideally something we wanted to have around the 4 or 15 minute mark. That's why they sent the Night Stalker down bottom win, but... And these, you haven't even got level 6 on Disruptor yet. Earth Spirit has level 2 Magnetize already. Oh, yeah. 
What did he? What is his next item after that power tread? What he got fit. He he just picked. He just picked it up. Oh, oh he's, okay, not quite. Yeah, he's that's got the money for it. Oh, he went drums along the way. Ooh, interesting. That's that's intriguing. That's more than yeah. anything. Just you tank up. The actual the charges are, can always be handy too. Movement speed's gonna help you a lot again to keep up with Slatter Sprint, the Night Stalker at night. He's, yeah, he's playing it as if this was Earth Spirit from like, yeah, two patches ago or whatever. Yeah. Like when he used to play in the mid lane, he's just itemizing the same exact way. Screw your new Aether lenses and people getting arcane boots and stuff. And obviously, you know, he doesn't even care for the urn or doesn't need the urn. Get over here. Bing bong, oh, magnetize. Let him do that. One. It off. That's a stolen glimpse from Pi. And. Oh, he packed it off. He lives. Yeah, okay. Wow. Hot now coming oh, in. Never mind. MB. Did he get it? Ooh, no. oh. Tried to get it just with the illusion. Wow. I think he pounced away from the illusion, so I didn't want to. Hot down though. <laughs> they get the tier two, however. And yeah. As Night Soccer wanted to scratch at the tier one mid, Misery's quickly there. Misery's like, oh, there's other lanes in this game. Shows up, yeah. and we'll start working there slowly. I could have got the kill if he, he used the haunt during the Earth Spirit stun and silence, but yeah. perhaps thinking they were going to get it out of this. See if he hadn't earned though on the Earth Spirit. Really. It Veil was so well. we have a Spectre. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and the Veil, of course. Veil wasn't the Spectre has the urn, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah. It was the same thing last time he didn't go for the urn, I think, cause, because they had the Spectre. And those two are often, they're always together going for yeah. kills. Like, if you ever go double urn, it's probably because the two heroes are off on their uh -oh. own. kills. They got a great setup on Envy, though, and not, that heal is not going to be enough. Beautifully set up there for Mineski, their first big promising play of the game. But are they going to be able to get away with the murder here? They make a move for the Slark. He's able to pounce away from trouble, and they're able to get the bear. Eh, not bad, bad for Mineski. Not bad. I mean, considering how far ahead Secret are, they get that little bit of rubber band, that little one. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Look at oh, what you. Oh, I thought I thought just for 3.4 I'm like, whoa. <laughs> but hey, if Aether Lens now picked up on Zeus. And uh, I'm sure Slar has got to have his blink by now, right? Oh, there we go. There it's it is. Hi, how's it going? I'll put this to work. This will be a great double set of fights, but this time it looks like Secret are going to be able to respond. Puppy picks up a kill there after the send back, it looks like. And send her a spirit home. He's teeping back in. He's ready for round two. And Slark's is ready to get the hell out of the boxing, it looks like. Can he make it away? Oh, that damn shockwave on the butt. Not coming back. Ooh. Fabulously late, late entrance there from Wii, but they get their tier one. And uh, they won a tier two. I feel like he added the frog to his name just in anticipation yeah. for all this. <laughs> he, he knew. The problem that what he didn't anticipate is that we're on a Zubu. So. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have no frogs here. <laughs> Roll forward, Raging Potato, just as fast as they catch him, he goes down. And this tier two is going to be soon to follow. Seeker could definitely slope to this game and take your time, get a Roche tower by tower. But I have a feeling that before that, we may see a tap out potential from yeah. if this does not turn around. And they'll be probably fairly ready to go high ground when they have pipe plus the radiance on there. There's no real. Item timings I'll be waiting for then. The Ags on Chen is always great for pushing ground, but the fact he went for Pipe means it's going to take a way too long to wait for that if you want to end the game fast. He's got the Relic. This kicks the stone in his face. He even commits the Magnetize. Roll in. Aha, you missed Ooh. it. And don't drop a stone because you can't stop from TPing. Went for different heroes there. The bear went at the slack, so a bit of miscommunication. Yeah. Or just greed, I think. I think it was a, oh, I can kill the Knights. Okay, you go for yeah. the slack because we're... We both have a chance of Very getting our kill, and then yeah. neither. It's like, there, I, so. you know, Slark is Maybe. also difficult to go against, against with Earth Spirit. But look at this nice clip set back. And they might be able to get Envy here. Go right into a crush. Still stuck in a stack storm. Did he get the kill? That's a little grab for Mineski. Two, two good setups for this Disruptor now. And, uh. They're still just farming and just like, yeah, they got I mean, any network from the Slark. It's one little thing, one little envy, but look what's happening bottom lane. Lone Druid's farm getting his raids, they're getting it two. And typically you think, oh, he killed a Spectre, that's a great pickup, but it's not even about the Spectre this game. It's not even, it's not about one hero, it's just the overall strategy for Secret should be so, more than solid enough to, to win them this game with their current lead. Ah, uh, yes. Slark is under the watchful eye. That handy dandy Slark passive will tell him that there's a wand there. He pings it up for his team and they're sure to take care of it. And uh, moving forward, the Blink Dagger now going to be picked up. 
or your Earth Spirit here. So makes it a lot easier for your magnetized setups. It might even save you a stone because now you won't have to use a stone to roll in from a far away. You can just blink in now. We'll continue the snowball. Manta style. Yeah, MP. This is can bring that one out. Wonder how how good he is at his glimpse dodging with Manta. Something very very difficult to do. You should like yeah. You should go into like a a, a book when you pull it off in competitive game, like a special plaque. Yeah. This glimpse it's incredibly hard because it the duration like the time before you get pulled back changes based on your distance you travel. They actually get envy down okay. again, but here comes uh, the rest of the team. How many Magnetized die? between three. But look at that! Static Storm response onto Wii, and they get him down instead. They are going to be taking down the Disruptor. He gets a glimpse off, though, that sends him all the way back to Roche, it looks like. Oh, wow. Which they were already doing, and they will gladly take back. So it's a Roche. The lives of two can help Silic Secret are okay with this. Yeah, it's, it's a win for Mineski by, by all metrics. It's the right play to make, but they're still really far behind. And for Secret, the overall strategy is still, is still going to work for them. They've got all the items they need. It's a setback, but they've got the Aegis now. They can group up as four, go for a push. Spectre can just be farming, pushing a lane and horn in. You just want to make sure Spectre's not going to keep getting caught of that, because at some, at some point, it's kind of starting to add up, but it's not going to a point of Mineski being back in the game just yet. Yeah, the... Getting good money with these little pickoffs and how extra generous they are because of the disadvantage of net worth, but Secret are still the ones objectively doing so much more across the map. So. Yeah, and top four net worth all still on the Secret side. It's yeah, it's just off. It was at like twenty eighteen, maybe K gold lead, and it's dropped down by three or four thousand. Yeah, it's a cute little dip, but it's not yeah. any sort of scary it's... landslide yet for Mineski. And a gem already online, so just as quick as Clark picks up Shadow Blade, you got Chen with a gem. And he gets a pounce here, but quick to retreat. There's the man, gets the quick silent, magnetized, has the kick, but is going to miss the boulder smash. The roll also going to be a miss. Is able to get the stone down from the roll, though, to refresh the magnetize, but at that point, they're a bit too far and away, and he'll have to pull off altogether, so. A little missed opportunity there for Secret. And for Mineski, thankful to make it away. Misery just confidently. Jumps right in. Glimpse could be there, possibly. He looks to fight him He's on the got Slark. The ages, so. But yeah, not a good target. Got the second life, and Slark's like, yeah, this is not a good fight for me. He says, see you later. Yes. Turns back mm. to the bottom lane instead. Looks like your Night Stalker. I didn't ever notice he picked up a, a Talon, but it's at least helped him to get towards an Agnum Scepter. He's already got the point booster. Pi pretty nicely farmed. I saw he already had a Blink Dagger, I believe, and now has yeah. a Ghost Scepter. So rich support here. Now a sprint. <laughs> yes, there's this worst spells I guess you could get. <laughs> it's always worse. But pipe and ages. So I think this is pretty much a recipe for a successful high gun attempt. You think so? Yeah. Play think so. The plate mail helps against the amp damage, so you're barely hitting the tower and not yeah. get demolished too fast. Roll. But it's still hard for them to go high ground without a pick off, just by the nature of Mines keeping the high ground defenders and having the ability to take out the bear with kind of a risk. Here is an ult coming out. The haunt towards the oh. mid lane is actually taking it's... away the Zeus. Pi will take Thunderstrike before uh, he does pass out. And here we go. One less Double high crush. ground defender to worry about. Bear, Stag Storm between the two, and be caught in a bit of it. Mantas. Gets himself out from the storm here, still silenced up, stepping back in a way, committed from the Slark. Is able to sidestep the Earth Spirit here as Weeha does engage, but they get a health pieces catch on to pull him back in a way. Slark are gonna be in a bit of trouble. We'll end up going down. Now secret move in. Silence catch up on the Jitsi Bash. It looks like they're on the verge of being able to close out game number one. Mineski with only two left and alive. No buyback set, they're ready. On the verge of, of losing their first set of racks now. And uh, Slark moves back in, sees Pi, who's kind of scouting things out. Kick sound set up after Telekinesis, and that's Slark going down, out for 50 seconds without a buyback here. They continue to fight, and they continue to drop one by one. God, this could be quickly over soon, and Secret could be walking away with a game one victory here. Definitely walking out, but at least one rack's down. Nice glimpse back, it's a good setup. They take down Mr. EOTK. 
And it looks like they might be able to possibly... Oh, they get Jesse Vash. Good re-engagement comes out from Wee. Rolls forward. Misses that one, though. And Seeker going to feel good about this win. Very... That's a Rax. That's a couple... That's a buyback. Yeah, I don't know. They got like five kills. Yeah. A dieback thing. Yeah, yeah Seeker feeling great. Slot of dieback. Nightwalker also dieback. This, this is... This is GG. Yeah. I mean, Mineski may be thinking about even the next game right now, but this is... Yeah, it's... They're, Mineski's always been the team who will never give up until their thrones down or there's mega creeps and it's beyond over. They're, they're, that's just like the Mineski slash SCA way, like, you don't give up. You fight till the very bitter end. There's been, back in the Dota 1 days when I was casting a lot of like the SCA tournaments, you would see teams actually, those when you could kill the fountain, and you would see fountains actually get destroyed because teams refused to GG out. They'd be going in there with five heroes with Omni Knight popping GA and kill the fountain. They'd do it with the CM because you could frostbite the fountain and then it can't attack, so... Um, unfortunately, you can no longer actually kill fountains, but... It's always fun when you know, like in MMA, sometimes, you know, there's fighters who actually don't want to tap out and or will just get choked out, but I gotta tell you, if you don't tap out, sometimes you just may get hurt. And in Dota, maybe psychologically. <laughs> I don't know, but there. I, I appreciate the never say die attitude because maybe you just re never really know. We've seen some historic throws in our day. This yeah. would be a historic one. I mean, you look at the network and you, net worth, and you think that they filtered uh, it by team. No, it, I've never been it's... seen a throw from this this big yeah. elite. But maybe from pure gold numbers, there's been a throw from this big elite. But it's all just the hero composition and everything else around it. Zeus just unfortunately a little too far from home and, and approaching what looked like smoked secret squad were able to get the little yep. Mario man and jump on his head. And, and he's uh, their like big source of damage for high ground defense, so well, he's not there he's now. Peasy. And with 35 seconds gone, Sark says I can get in that and he can get the hell out. He's down. 50 seconds, no buyback. And uh, it looks like the mid racks are set to, to fall. Mineski. I want to call GG now. They don't give up though. Yeah. So, no, what's secret are like, well, we want to go to the next game. Rayor's like, I can't believe what the hell happened to this game. I can't believe it. God damn it, guys. Damn it. Good game. GG. I don't. Maybe there's also some ready is a factor. The other things take. I don't know how much. Like, if there's ties later on, it could be something the teams like keep taking into consideration. So, Mineski. So there you have it. Three to seven. Brutal. Brutal. And uh, you know what? You could say from the start when the very first blood of Puppy in the mid lane could have been that first little domino tip point, and it went fast. Looking at an Earth Spirit who got that.